We don't remember because, as he says, we are asleep. We walk around in daydreams. We have moments when we wake up and remember. But then again, we are lulled back to sleep by our routines, by our habits, by the daily activities, by the attractions of the world. Is it the world's fault? No, of course not. The world is just doing what it does. Allah told it. If they look at you and forget me, tyrannize them. If they look at you and remember me, be their servant. If the world is distracting us, it's not the world's fault. We're asleep. So the question is, do we want to wait till we die to wake up? If we do, Allah only knows what's waiting for us on the other side. Yet, He is most merciful. We count on His mercy, yes. The beloved of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, His shafat is guaranteed. We count on His shafat. <laughs> Inshallah, we have loved ones who, when we go, will offer salawats and prayers and our brothers and sisters. And we count on that. But why make it difficult on them? Why not do it now? If we remember him truly, and he remembers us, then we will have no problem in the hereafter. And we will have no problem here. <coughs> we will know what gives him pleasure. We will know that helping each other is the only thing we can do to serve him directly. Our namas, our prayers, our zikrullah, that all serves us, doesn't serve him. The only way to serve him is to help the creation. And if we're awake, we will know that. And he said, I come close to those who do superoperatory ibadah. And we've been told that more than extra prayers in the middle of the night, helping the creation for Allah's sake, that is what he's talking about. And if he loves us, he will be the hands with which we hold, the eyes with which we see, the feet with which we walk on, the mouths with which we talk, and then we will be safe. I complained to Mubin that I didn't have any stories, and he said I'd think of one, so I thought of one. There was this dervish, and he had been in with the Sheikh for a long time, 20, 30 years, and all his brothers and sisters who became dervishes with him, they were advancing, they were caliphs, <coughs> they were sent here to be the Sheikh and there to be the Sheikh, and he was still here being a lowly dervish, and he, and he kind of complained to the sheikh, I don't understand, but I've been here as long as they have. You know, I don't think I'm any less pious. Uh, how come I'm not getting advanced? I said, well, I'm hungry. Go down the street and get me yogurt. In the story, it's the Albanian yogurt maker. Uh, I don't know where Chobani is. We can send him to Chobani. <laughs> the Turkish yogurt maker. And he brought him back some fresh yogurt. And then the, the sheikh took a spoonful and spat it out. I said, this is terrible. You know, tell him it's awful and bring me another one. I want it fresh. So he's all embarrassed. So he goes back and he tells the people at the yogurt shop he didn't like it. He said it was, was stale and sour. He wants fresh yogurt. Give me some fresh yogurt. He said, come look. See, it's still cooking, right? It's in the vat. Let's put it in here, we'll cool it. Okay, here, take it, it's ready. He takes it to the shave. He takes it again, he spits it out again. And the poor man is just frantic. I mean, he's all scared. I mean, have you ever had a shake yell at you? It is not nice. <laughs> so he yells at him and he can like, go back once more. You know, and this is your last time, you better get it right this time. And so he brings it back, and the sheikh takes it, and he says, it's horrible, and he takes it, and he hits it over his head, and the guy says, Allah! And, so, and the sheikh smiles and says, now you could be a khalifa. 
That's the first time you ever said Allah and meant it. Allah, please let us mean it. Do not let us wait till we come to you to wait for us. Do not hit us over the head too hard to wake us up. Oh Allah, forgive our sins. We are forgetful, we know this. Have mercy on us. We cannot remember you unless you remember us. We cannot be true to Islam unless you wake us up. Peace Allah. For the sake of your beloved Prophet wake us up now before we have to.